this side was where my TV was. I did have my TV on the wall, but now it's my oven and my cooker. And uh, I've got myself like a semi island here. Uh, we did want an island, but the kitchen was quite thin and long, so we ended up not getting one. Just take you through to the living room. You can see the door is hung a different way. Major things in this room, that's too many to mention to be honest. Uh, all new furniture, new blinds, carpets, literally everything has changed in this room. I don't think a single thing has remained, even the fireplace is different. Even the walls have been replastered. Um, I did like this room before I had it done, but I just found it very pointless having a living room dining room because I didn't want to eat in my living room. I wanted a separate cozy dining room. Um, but I also wanted my dining room, sorry, my living room to continue throughout the house in the summer, which is why I put those big glass doors in so that I could open the big glass doors and still have like the garden when the bifolds are open still be part of the house. These doors were so much trouble, but I absolutely love them. So in the summer, this is the idea. We'll have those doors open, and then also you can see on the main image there, have the bifolds open, and they open all of the way up. I think I'm just going to demonstrate the integral blinds, which is a feature I love. Blinds are built within the glass. They don't get dusty. They don't get tangled up. You can tilt them, you can just treat them as normal blinds, I love them. And there's another angle of the kitchen. So this is just a view of the downstairs of the house without side-by-side -side comparison. There's still a lot to do. To do. Uh, we don't have a lampshade in the dining room, it's still just a ball banging from the ceiling. I do need some artwork and I'm looking to get some shelves in the kitchen in that little odd corner so that I can put like the dog treats and my speaker on there so they're not on the counter. I don't really like lots of stuff on the counter. My uh, beautiful hob, it's an induction hob. I love it. I was a bit wary about getting one, but uh, it works beautifully, although I did have to change my pans. My spice straw. This was very heavily planned. I had to have my spice straw here and it's in the perfect place. If I want to add something in, I just go in here, pick some spices out, stick it in the pan or the pot or whatever and stick them away and crack on. Another little handy thing up here is called the Lazy Susan. Now this one I got from Ikea. This is just my oils, um, kind of my oils and my vinegars up here. Uh, anything that I might just want to quickly grab and put into a pot while I'm cooking. Back into my pantry. I adore this room. It works so well. Everything has its own little spot. And to be honest, there's space for most of there, but I don't feel like I need to fill it. I'm happy with the empty spaces. It does look a little bit different to what it does in this video because I have reorganized a few things but it's generally kind of the same. I don't think it was too long ago I filmed this, maybe, maybe a month ago or something. But yeah, I do like to constantly reorganize things and see what works better. This side we went with a different worktop rather than the big granite worktop. Um, I didn't want anything expensive or fancy for the utility because I knew it would just get marked up and um, I didn't want to waste my money on the same worktop that was out here, especially seeing as though it wasn't in the same room. This is how I like my worktops, minus that big tails.com box. I like my worktops clear. You can see down there there's a wire and some coasters. Those are where I'd be getting rid of those things onto the shelf. Heading through into the dining room, which to be honest I don't really use a dining table very often since I had the breakfast bar put in. My lovely cosy living room. Oh, I love this room. 
each one of those cushions is actually one and a half people wide. The very large couch, I can lie flat on it and there's still more space. And I'm um, just demonstrating there in the summer when I've got those bifolds at the bottom open, I can have the double doors open on an evening and still kind of have the outside in. I was after a vintage tray for this ottoman for my tea. Little did I realise I had this vintage tray upstairs the entire time. It just had some old-fashioned tapestry in it, so I pulled the tapestry out and um, had my perfect little vintage tray. I'm very happy with how downstairs has turned out. I've still got stuff to do. The kitchen still needs paint. Same. 
bedside tables or that little random fireplace that came from the old house. My mother-in-law has that now and she really likes it. So yeah, I managed to eventually find something to fill this corner and my towel rail actually gets used as a towel rail rather than a clothes rail. Um, it's got to get decorated this room but it does the carpets perfectly fine uh, the flooring in the closet as you will see is actually just underlay rather than carpet which when you walk out it doesn't have to drag all of the fluff out under the carpet so in my bedroom they'd knock through to the box bedroom as you can see in the top left that was just a box bedroom into the main bedroom but I've put some doors back on and had these were just um, like built in wardrobe units that's all they were they were these could even be used in a kitchen they were just like carcasses and a lovely viewer designed this for me I spoke with the guys who fitted it and we jigged a few things around and then this is all just units popped in I added a few fancy little things. I wanted slim drawers for ties and belts and stuff, so that's Christian's. That's even tidier now after my Marie Kondo video. There's more boxes in there. And I've got a couple of perspex trays in there as well for cufflinks and things. And uh, again, mine's changed a little bit. A little perspex tray and my glasses are all sorted. So that concludes my house tour. Again, another one of my favourite spaces. I just love storage spaces. I love it when everything has a place. And uh, my closet is that place for all my clothes. I don't have them spread out all over the house like I did do before. And my blind, my lovely Roman blind, which means I can actually get changed in this room, which I couldn't before. I had to go back into the bedroom, close the curtains and get changed. But uh, now I can use it. So that is my updated house tour. There will probably be more things to come next year. At the moment, there's nothing. There's nothing that we're changing massively.